Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 2 of Beastars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That light is still bright on my face, and I can just, oof. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of better. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, my Louis. Pizza. Oh, really? Like, a traitor among y'all? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised about that shit. A broken electric fan. I mean, sad day. What you gonna do? I mean, the only thing that you can do is find him and kill him, right? <laughs> How do? Oh, ladies, huh? Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Not that high on that gazelle meat or just any meat. You have fun. Oh, damn. Sir, Jesus, look at see what the fuck. Jesus, oh my God. Excuse me. Exactly. You need to rest, like, at least a little bit. Jesus. I get that, but you need to rest, like, Jesus. You know what happens when people overwork themselves out? Like, Jesus. 
Just like if you ate, if you didn't eat and you went outside and mowed the lawn, I did that, I was dumb. I almost had a heat stroke. Seems sweet. I wonder what's her problem. Oh. That's fucked up, though. Yeah, why is that? Is it because of the fact that the police don't really give a crap about, like, certain animals and the dangers that they are to society. True. Yeah. At least his arms back together and he's okay. Oh, you bought him flowers? That's so sweet. I so apologize. That's so cute. Oh. How I still be afraid of him? But, you know. Oh, come on. It's okay. You're not going to hurt him. You guys are friends, right? So I don't think you could ever hurt him anymore, you know? Go on. Show. Oh my god. Like, I don't think it's legacy, but what it could be another lion, yeah, or a wolf. Can I see your legacy? You know, Louise is a little complicated. Mm -hmm. yeah, he just kicking people's ass. That's it. Like, no, he knows nothing about elephants.
Yeah, because it's been forever since you two last saw each other. He just wants you to come back. And you saw him. I mean, no, he ain't. He don't eat meat. Lie. Yeah, he doesn't eat meat. Which is good as fuck. But he's not judging you, though, Louise. He just wants to save you and get you out of here because you don't belong here. Oh. No, he hasn't had me in like a while now. For me, officially in two days, it'll be uh, mm, like two, three months. I mean, it's not that hard, though, but, yeah. Not really. I mean, it's more of Louis' fault because, you know, he shot the boss, and then, yeah, this is that third. Apples and oranges. That, too. Just friends. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't think she did. She just she waiting for you until you are ready to come back. Well, you too. Like I see. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I think she wants to be with you rather than Louise. I mean, in a way, she has gotten over. Louise, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. You will never understand how we as women think. <laughs> we say one thing, but we mean a completely different thing.
unfortunately. You're not about to... He is. Yeah, you don't want to shoot bots, right? Of course. Without him, I don't think they'll be able to do anything. It wouldn't surprise me after this if he decides to come back to school, but still also is the leader of this, you know, this gang group. No, I don't know. Shit. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's up to you. think you can control yourself around Kibby? Winnie the Boo. Look, you killed Tim. You killed Piglet. Who watched you come kill? Possibly not. It was unavoidable. Oh, unlike you with Tim? This motherfucker, are you? Oh. Well, you like the legacy? You can't say that! No! You can't say that, dear Really? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but this asshole over here is just over here like, oh no, <laughs> fuck you. Maybe I should go see TV. <laughs> Exactly. I think, you know, 
the reason why you know Ritz is staying so cool and calm and collected yeah I mean and like when we see him he's okay but I think deep inside of him he he is suppressing those emotions and saying like yeah I still feel bad the fact that I ate him you know he was probably like that at the beginning but now he like Haha, yeah I ate him who gives a shit Mm -hmm. I mean, because, like, imagine if, God, yeah, because look at him, he's pissed. He's the type of character where when he's around others he's not going to break down he has a mask on and when he's alone that's when his mask is truly off and he can be pissed and angry and break something as much as he wants to and he can act freely and such but at the same time like you know he still regrets it even though he's like yeah Tim's in my stomach it's okay I ate him you know it's all right and stuff it just reminds me of like okay you know how in most TV shows and movies nowadays where someone has made, like, their first kill um, and stuff? Like, the only thing I can really think of right now is a video game. Tomb Raider. The very, the reboot Tomb Raider. When Laura Croft made her first kill, she was traumatized by that because she's never wanted to kill a person. She's always maybe killed animals for it because if an animal is attacking her, of course, it's between you and the animal and... <laughs> either one of y'all are gonna make it or possibly both of y'all but because of that she killed the animal but when she killed a human in the game her very first kill she was hella traumatized from it when she when the second game came out so rise of the tomb raider um she was still struggling to get over the issue of, of the fact that yes she did kill someone and i think you know that could be like that for anyone um whether it's in an accident and such, or even something that's on a TV show where it happens and you never know what the fuck, and this is that and the third. But it is a little fucked up because when you look at, or it's Winnie the fucking Pooh, you, when you look at him and how he's like, yeah, da, 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 like seriously, you want to punch him in the face and it's like, you asshole, you're the one who ate Tim. You want to go and talk to Kibby and think you're going to be slick and go ahead and eat another person. No, not on Legacy's watch, not on my watch, not on anybody's watch. Like, seriously, everybody is trying to be protective of the herbivores because do it over here like a motherfucking carnivore that he is and saying, you know what, fuck it. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to eat someone, uh, someone else again. Who even knows if he's still taking his medicine? That's the biggest thing. I think he is, but then there are moments possibly where he isn't. And it, it just, it scares the crap out of me that it's a possibility that he might kill someone again and he won't care. You killed your best friend because you wanted to show Tim how you really truly were as a character, as a person, as an animal, to see how you really truly are without your meds. And... Tim was terrified. Once you pulled at his arm and blood spewed out, anybody would be terrified of that. And so your last few moments with him and how, like I said before, with Tim is hugging him and he's like, you know, I forgive you and such. You turn around and you eat him. And it's still fucked up. These are so many things that are running through his head. Even as of, like, you know, Legacy coming up to him saying this is that and the third to him. And, you know, he's sitting there all calm, cool, and collected. But deep, deep inside of himself, he he's a ticking time bomb. He's gonna explode again. And, I mean, I don't know how many other episodes we have for this before this second season is done. But something tells me that by the time we finish the show, he is gonna kill again. And he's not gonna feel remorseful about it. He's just gonna be like, fuck it. I did it once, I can do it again. I feel nothing after eating someone. I mean, yeah, like, he, he probably did feel something about Tim, but let's say, yeah, he kills Kibby or he kills anybody else. He's not going to feel anything towards them. It's just going to be like, oh, this is just another Tuesday for me or another Wednesday, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, whatever. Like, this is just the norm for him. But I don't know.
I got nothing. I would like to still see Louise come back, but who knows? We ain't gonna know until episode 10. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of season 2 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And next time, <laughs> I will see you guys officially all next time. Either next, um... Tuesday, Wednesday, or either next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.